Hey everyone, you're watching Cutie Crafts, and today I'll be trying needle felting for the second time on my channel. I'll be making this cute little dog that was sent to me from Banggood.com, and it's a pretty small kit that comes with the needle felting wool, two little eyes and keychain accessories, as well as an instruction pamphlet that's completely in Chinese, but I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out. They also sent me this three needle tool that will allow me to make all the parts since the dog kit doesn't actually come with any needles. And if you're new to needle felting, these are actually special kinds of needles with small grooves on them that make the wool intertwine together when you stab the wool repeatedly. I'm using styrofoam as my working surface, but you can always use a sponge or anything that allows the needles to poke through. This will be the dog's actual size, so it's quite small. I'll try my best to make it, and let's begin with the head. Grabbing a fistful of the brown wool, I'm just scrunching some of it into a ball and poking my needles through until a more solid ball starts forming. You can tell when you've poked enough when you find that the ball isn't so squishy and soft anymore. The wool should be tighter and you will feel a bit of resistance when continuing to poke the wool. The outer layer shouldn't look very loose like this. Once you've poked enough times, the shape will look more solid and a lot sharper. It took me around 10 minutes to get the head to this size, and it kind of looks like a meatball. So now the head is done, and it's close to the same size as shown in the picture, and let's make the ears. I scrunched up a small amount of wool around the same size as my thumb, and poked it until it started to form a flat, triangular ear shape. I used a single needle to help make the ears more pointy looking, and then I added some white wool for the inner ear. Once that was finished, I attached the ear to the head and followed the same steps for the other ear. Moving on to the body, I'm referencing the picture in the instructions to get the right amount of wool. Just like the head, I scrunched it up and poked away until it started to form a bean-like shape. It's around the same size as my thumb, and I made sure to leave some loose wool near the end to make it easier to attach the head. For the front legs, I used a 5cm strip of wool and folded it so that it would be a lot shorter. Then I attached it to the body. and added some white wool at the end to make the paws. And of course, I did the same steps for the other front leg. Same thing goes for the hind legs, except I made them a bit thicker and rounded off near the end of the legs. After both legs were secured around the bum, I added little paw pads using some black wool. Before moving back up the body, I made a tiny tail using a 2cm strip of wool and poked it right into place. This dog wears a little blue bandana, so I flattened out a bit of blue wool and used a single needle to poke the edges in in order to make it look more triangular. Then I got a strip of wool and attached it all around the neck, and I poked the bandana into place. For the facial features, I'm starting off with the muzzle, and now that you get the idea of how needle felting works, I'm just going to let you listen to some of the poking sounds to see if you find it relaxing.
Finally, his face is done, and to clean up all the long wool that is sticking out, I use my scissors to trim it off. I could have added the keychain accessories as well, but I won't be putting it on my phone, so I just kept it as is. I realized I forgot to make the little knots for the bandana, so I used two little balls of wool and attached them on the side of the neck. This little doggy is completely done now. I tried my best to make it look similar to the picture, but since I'm still a beginner at needle felting, it doesn't look exactly the same. Banggood also sent me another red bandana dog that I used too much wool to make, so at least the blue one turned out a lot better. I personally think they're both really cute no matter what size they are, and you actually do get a lot of leftover wool in this kit if you wanted to make other needle felt plushies. I absolutely love dogs, so this was a really great needle felting kit to try as a beginner. I should also note that this 3 needle tool is such a time saver and is very useful for condensing all that wool into a much smaller piece. I will leave links in the description below if any of you want to try out needle felting for the first time and might need some materials. It definitely requires patience as well, just like roller beading does, but it makes you relax in a much different way, unless you stab yourself, which I did a few times, but with practice, I'm sure I'll enjoy needle felting a lot more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanted to have a more relaxed video for today. I'll be back with more proto beating videos later on, and I'll see you guys next time with another cutie craft.